In today's video, I'm going to solve a problem from functions of complex variables. See here, if the imaginary part of an analytic function b is given as x square minus y square plus x by x square plus y square, then we have to find the analytic function and its real part. So the real part is nothing but u of x comma y. See what is given? The imaginary part v is given. So v is given as x square minus y square by x pi. This is x square plus y square. Now first of all I am going to differentiate with respect to x. So this is dou v by dou x is equal to. So dou v differentiate with respect to x. For x square it is 2x and for y with respect to x is 0. And here I have to make a derivative so this is of uv rule so uv rule is nothing but derivative of u by v is nothing but see here this is v square v u dash minus u v dash so using that formula i am going to solve this see this is v square and one time i am writing v u dash for x this is 1 and again i am leaving u and with respect to x this is 2x and see dou v by dou x value is equal to this is 2x minus so this is plus so if i multiply the numerator this is x square plus y, y square whole square this is x square plus y square minus 2x square and see dou v by dou x is equal to this is 2x plus this will be y square minus 2 plus 1 so this is minus x square by this is x square plus y square whole square. So this is dou v by dou x and this is equation number a or equation number 1. And now what is v given? So v is given as, see here. Now look, v is given as, so v is equal to x square minus y square by x by, this is x square plus y square. Now I am going to differentiate with respect to y this time. So, dou v by dou y is equal to for x it is 0 and this is 2y and again x it is a constant with respect to y and de derivative of 1 by x. So, 1 by x is nothing but minus 1 by x square. So, this is minus 1 by this value is nothing but x square and again with respect to y this value will be 2y. So, what remains here? dou v by dou y is equal to this is minus 2y and this is if I multiply this will be minus 2xy by x square plus y square whole square and this is equation number b. So we have dou v by dou y and dou v by dou x values and now I am going to use Milne's Thompson method to find out the analytic function. This is Milne's Thompson method according to the Milne's Thompson method we have f of z is equal to see here we have f of z value as do u sorry u plus iv so this is u plus iv so if i make a derivative with respect to x f dash of z is equal to this is do u by do x plus i into this is do v by do x and now i have only the values with respect to v that is do v by do y and do v by do x so i have to transform this do u by do x now i am using cr equations so according to the cr equations we have so we have cr equations ready as according to the cr equations we have see here According to the CR equations, we have dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou, x, dou y and dou u by dou y is equal to this is minus dou v by dou x. Dou v by dou x. So, these are the CR equations. And now we have, as you know that f of z. So, f of z is equal to this is u plus iv. If I make a derivative with respect to z, that will be dou u by dou x plus i into this is dou v by dou x. Now I have to transform dou u by dou x. In place of dou u by dou x, I am going to write dou v by dou y. See here, f dash of z is equal to this is dou v by dou y plus i times of dou v by dou x. Now I have to substitute the values from equation a and b. 
from equations a and b we have both the values ready dou v by dou, dou x and dou v by dou y see here according to the equation 1 so what is dou v by dou x so this value is dou v by dou x i am substituting the same thing f dash of z is equal to first i need dou v by dou y so i am substituting um, dou v by dou y as this is minus 2y minus 2xy by this is x square plus y square whole square and what is dou v by dou x so the value here is this and now i am going to substitute dou v by dou x value as this is 2x plus y square minus x square by this is x square plus y square whole square after substituting both the values that is dou v by dou y value and dou v by dou x value from equations a and b and now according to the milnes thompson method i have to replace now replace x by z and y as 0 so in place of x so i have to keep z here so f dash of z is equal to this is minus 2 into 0 so this is also this is 2 z into 0 so this whole thing will become 0 this is i times of this is 2 z and for z square this is 0 and this will be z square by this is z square whole square so this whole thing is 0 so f dash of z so f dash of z is equal to i times of this is 2 z minus z square by this is z bar 4 so if i cancel if i cancel for two times this is f dash of z is equal to i times of this is 2z minus 1 by z square see here now f dash of z is equal to this is i times of this is 2z minus 1 by z square now if i integrate on both sides so that is integral dz if i integrate on both sides then see integration and derivative got cancelled and f of z is equal to this is i times of 2 into for z this is z square by 2 and minus 1 by z square it is nothing but plus 1 by z plus c so if i cancel this f of z value is equal to i times of this is z square plus 1 by z plus c z square plus 1 by z plus c and this is our analytic function and we need the real part of this analytic function so for that as we have f of z is equal to c f of z is equal to this is i times of z square plus 1 by z plus c and again we have we need um, the real part so as you know that z is equal to x plus i y now if i substitute the same thing here then this will be f of z value f of z value is equal to i times of this is x plus i y whole square plus 1 by this is x plus i y and see if i expand f of z is equal to i times of if i expand this this is a square plus b square so this will be i square minus and this value is 2xyi and now so see here this is if i rationalize x minus i y multiply and divide with x minus i y then see what happens here so f of z value is equal to this is i times of this is x square minus y square plus 2xyi plus this is x minus i y a plus b into a minus b is nothing but a square minus of minus plus this is b square as we have i square value as minus 1 see here then if i multiply with minus sorry i so this will be x square minus y square i and i into i this is minus 1 i square value is minus 1 this is 2 x y and see if i multiply this will be x i by x square plus y square so i into i is i square minus 1 and there is already minus so this is y by x square plus y square now i have to split the real as well as imaginary so this part is real and see here this part is imaginary part so if i split then f of z value will be see here then f of uh, z value is equal to what is the real part here this is minus 2 x y 
plus y by this is x square plus y square if i take i common so this will be x square minus y square by x square plus y square so this is nothing but see here this value is nothing but f of z f of z is equal to u plus i into v therefore what is u u is the real part as 2 minus 2 x y by y by this is x square plus y square and what is the imaginary part from the question this is x square minus y square by x by this is x square plus y square and what is our analytic function therefore our analytic function f of z so f of z is equal to see here i'll show you this is i times of z square plus 1 by z so this is i times of this is z square plus 1 by z plus c and this these are all the questions asked in the question see here so this is the real part this is the imaginary part and this is the analytic function so this is also so simple when the imaginary part is given so we have to make our derivative with respect to x for one time y for one time and see according to the milnes thompson method f of z is equal to u plus iv so i have do u by do x and do v by do y so i have only v values that are from do u by do x as do v by do y and from equation one and two i substituted and again i replaced x by z and y by zero and after integrating on both sides i got the analytic function and after getting the analytic function i substituted z as x plus i y and so i got the real part u imaginary part v and the analytic function f of z thank you so much for staying till the end thank you so much and pass it on to your friends and practice definitely you can score more 